There is a priority God has given for your life that if you will follow this priority, it will bring blessing to you and to the people around you. It's a very simple priority. Seek first the kingdom of God. Jesus is talking in Matthew chapter 16 about our food, our clothes, our normal needs. And he says, don't worry about these things. Instead, learn to replace anxiety over temporary earthly needs with an active pursuit of God. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Most people and a surprising number of Christians spend a great amount of time and energy worried about things, anxious about things, what they're going to eat, what they're going to wear, where they're going to live, oh, what's going to happen with this, what's going to happen in the future, what's going to happen with their family, what's going to happen with their friends. And Jesus gives us a very simple promise. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. I want to encourage you to do uh, this thing very much in your life. Replace the anxiety that you have over temporary needs, over earthly needs, with active pursuit of God's eternal kingdom. Twice in this passage, he gives a clear command, do not worry. So we need to understand that worry and anxiety is sin that's got to stop. It's not from God. It's not for God. It needs to stop. Do not worry. Then he says, seek first. Make this your priority. And how do you do that? You submit to God's kingdom. You share God's kingdom with others. And you strive to advance the kingdom of God and everything you do, God's agenda, God's plans, God's will, God's way, God's word, God's rule being expressed in that situation. What's the kingdom of God? It's God's name. It's God's will, his word, his ways, his plans, his priorities. What's God's kingdom? It's God's timing. His, his, your money needs to be God's money. Your things need to be God's things. Your time and how you spend it needs to be first given over to God. And your relationships, God needs to be first in these things as well. He needs to be the Lord of your relationships. The Lord of everything about you. When God's kingdom is being sought by you and God's kingdom is coming in your life, everything about you has God first. God is first in every part of your life. So seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first to put God first in your life, and then all these things will be added unto you. You know, it's amazing. Uh, when, when you stop worrying about money, you, you follow biblical principles about money. You put God first in your finances by giving. It's amazing how God provides. And God will, even if you only have this much, God will make that much meet all your needs. God's amazing with your time. You're so busy. You've got so much to do. But if you put God first, God will stretch your time and make it more uh, effective. Everything in your life, when you put God first in your relationships, God will bless your relationships. Anywhere in my life that's not submitted to God becomes a point of conflict and anxiety. Anywhere that is submitted to God becomes a point of blessing and a point of abundance. So I'm encouraging you today, do one simple thing. Don't worry, but seek first the kingdom of God.